Hello there. Um, this is just one thing I wanted to share that I found interesting. Um, when learning your foreign languages, um, especially if the foreign language that you're learning, you actually know like native speakers of that language, um, it's actually pretty interesting. And I just wanted to share this one um, thing that happened to me at, um, I would say, lunch this afternoon. Um, typically, like, if I wake up late or something, I um, usually get lunch and skip breakfast, and locally I go to this one, um, like, one place, um, it's like right down the road from me, like a few miles down the road, um, and it is owned by, believe it or not, Greeks. Um, like I said before in one of my previous videos, a language that I hear a lot, even more than Spanish, is Greek. Um, well, normally I take something along with me to read um, when I have breakfast, especially if I'm eating breakfast alone, I usually take something to read. Um, normally I would take a history book, or, you know, since I love history, um, especially ultimate history, I would normally take something like this, or like, you know, this. You know, just to read while you know, I'm waiting for my food or something. But today, um, I decided to take this along with this colloquial Greek um, to basically go over like some pronoun pronunciation drills. And, you know, like mainly I'm working on my pronunciation right now because, as you know, like I said before, Greek has a different alphabet than the Latin text. So I'm trying to memorize like the sounds of it. So I took it with me to breakfast, or lunch, I should say. And um, believe it or not, around here, um, most of the Greeks around here own restaurants. And um, it just so happens that the owner of the place that I was at today um, is a native born Greek. And um, he has, um, he does have a girlfriend, but she's from this country, she's not from Greece, uh, but from being around him and his family, um, she also speaks Greek and she knows Greek from being around them so much. Um, she actually saw this on the table that I was reading um, when I was waiting for my food, and she found it amazing that I was learning Greek because, um, you know, it's not typically you would see, say, an American learning a language other than, say, Spanish, you know. Um, unless you're into foreign languages, typically someone who's American would learn Spanish because it's useful. Um, and oddly enough, um, she told the owner, um, the owner is in there like all the time. He, he usually sits at the bar and just, you know, sits there or if he has work, he does work there, you know, and she, after she saw that I had this, she went over to him and he, and she told him and before I left, he, <laughs> he found it interesting. He was like, oh, so I hear that you're learning Greek. And I'm like, yeah, I am. I, I know tons of people who speak Greek and I think, you know, it, it should be interesting to learn, and he's like, oh, and he said something in Greek, um, I, he thought that I would know it, but I didn't, I, I forget the term, I think it was like, maybe, like, good luck, or that's great, you know, um, I just wanted to share that experience with you, because I think it's pretty interesting, um, especially if you're learning something that's not the normal type of language, like, for instance, um, Let's see. I'll use this as an example. Like for instance, here you have Spanish, you know, Latin American Spanish, Spanish, you know, th this would be the typical thing you would see someone learning around here because, you know, th there's tons of Spanish speaking people, you know, and it's the second most spoken language in this area. Um, well, actually no, the second most spoken language in the country. Um, not in this area. Actually, in this area is the third most spoken, believe it or not. 
the second most open is this. But um, what's so funny is normally you would see someone wanting to learn Spanish, wanting to learn, you know, this, you know, it's typical for someone seeing someone to learn Spanish. But um, to see someone, especially if they know they're learning their native language, like for instance this, you know, not a lot of people in this area um, learn Greek. Even though there are a lot of people who speak Greek who are from Greece, not a lot of non-Greeks um, learn Greek. So when someone who is native Greek, who speaks Greek as their first language, um, knows someone who's not native Greek speaking it and learning it, that actually is amazing to them. And they actually have to think about it for a minute saying, huh, he's actually taking time to learn my language. That's pretty interesting. You know, that, that's one of the good things about learning all different foreign languages. And it's one of the good things about learning languages to see what's around your community. Like, for instance, if, you, if I didn't look around my community to see what's there, I would have just been learning, you know, Spanish and thought that, okay, Spanish is the only language I'm ever going to have to learn. But I actually took the time to look around my community and I found out, hey, no, Spanish is not the only foreign language spoken around. I hear other foreign languages too. Um, I hear, um, let's see, besides Greek, I also hear Albanian sometimes too. So, you know, it, it's good to, you know, open up and see what other cultures are in your area. And I think it's a very good experience because they know that you're actually taking the time out to learn their culture and their language. You know, you can actually build friendships on that and expand on that. And plus, if you need help in their language, and they know that you're trying to take the time to learn their language, they will help you. Like, for instance, another, another Greek friend of mine um, who knows that I am learning it, um, I accidentally got, you know, something wrong when I was, you know, speaking, and he corrected me on saying, you know, well, you almost got it, but this is the correct way of doing it, you know. So they also help you along with your language learning. So that's pretty great, I, th I think. So that's just what I wanted to talk to you with one of my experiences, and I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks.